These days, when I visit my cousins, they, they'll say to me, Sandra, you're beginning to look like Baba. Baba was the matriarch of the family, my grandmother, Sofia Zanoka. She came over from Ukraine when she was about 14. She's the one who, who taught me about how to move out of denial and how to look at things in a straight way. And I really believe that one grandmother can alter generations and generations and generations. I'm Sandra Semchuk, and I'm a photographer. I had been doing uh, self-portraits uh, for some time because I was interested in the nature of change. I began to do what I called cooperative self-portraits where I would work with my daughter, for example, Rowena. She sometimes would have the shutter release and sometimes I would. But there was a dialogue and a kind of negotiation of identity between the two of us. I had the opportunity to see these amazing images that the bison stewards were making by leaving cameras uh, in places where the bison continually go. So the bison were making their own photographs. I worked with the bison stewards and we edited them so that as the audience moved by, they would get a sense of the changing season and the moving of the bison. James Nicholas was from Nelson House, Manitoba. He and I were husband and wife. We saw our marriage as a kind of articulation of the struggle with colonization. Part of what we tried to do in our collaboration was to, to show how we, we were learning from each other, how we were reaching across cultures to cross that kind of pain that, that we each felt from our own cultures and our own histories. Taking Off Skins was a performative piece that James did. He took off the businessman's suit and he took off that noose, that tie that he wore as a liaison between governments and his own nation that he walked into the water to cleanse himself and he put on uh, this bear claw necklace that, that he had skinned. He was trying to come to terms with his 10 years in residential school I grew up in northern Saskatchewan around the Metal Lake area. So there, there were there's huge projections on bears. How would I come to see the bear for who the bear was? I had my camera trained on the ears of this female grizzly bear. She began this kind of dialogue with us, this, this negotiation with us to, to come closer to us. And, you had that sense that that kind of uh, cross-species dialogue was possible. How do we come to know across species as well as across cultures? How do we come to know, you know, someone else without projections? <laughs>